Emotions can be intense and overwhelming. When prolonged, these feelings can develop into anxiety and depression, blurring our judgment. This can affect the individual's ability to make decisions. Unfortunately, when things feel like too much, the individual may develop unhealthy escapist tendencies, some of which involve self-harm. This is considered a maladaptive coping strategy, which only serves to continue the disorder, rather than healing it. According to Mental Health America, roughly 15% of teens and adolescents have reported committing self-injury. If you believe someone may be self-harming, we pray that things will get better for them and encourage you to help them. In our description box below, we've provided some resources that may come in handy, such as the crisis text line. Here are five signs of self-harming that might not always be obvious. One, they wear long sleeve shirts and pants in hot weather. Although people may wear these articles of clothing to prevent getting sunburns or mosquito bites, if someone does it consistently, even when they go swimming, then it might indicate they're trying to hide their wounds. People who self-harm may be ashamed of their actions and often have a hard time receiving help, fearing that they will be judged. So, they do whatever it takes to keep it a secret, even if it means wearing a jacket when it's 90 degrees outside. 2. They scratch or rub at certain body areas. This indicates that there's more going on than just a small cut. People who self-harm on a regular basis develop wounds that take a long time to heal because they may keep agitating it. As scar tissue forms, the wounded area often becomes itchy. They may also be selective and choose a specific area to self-harm, such as their wrist, arm, or thigh, to get the same feeling of release each time they hurt themselves. 3. They have unpredictable mood swings and trouble controlling their impulses. People who experience psychological conditions such as mood disorders and trauma are more likely to self-harm because it's hard for them to regulate their emotions. Signs include getting agitated often, breaking down frequently, or seeming easily offended. It's also important to take notice if they crack jokes about self-harm because chances are they're being serious. 4. They start to withdraw themselves from you and others. People who self-harm often start to isolate themselves from their friends and family. But it's not just their social life they put on pause. If you catch them stop doing their favorite hobbies, this is also a strong indicator that something is wrong. 5. They have frequent episodes of existential crisis. When someone keeps asking themselves who they are or what the meaning of life is, they aren't doing it to be drama queens or kings. Inside, something has snapped that is preventing them from feeling stable. People who self-harm often struggle with low self-esteem issues and have a hard time finding hope. They might feel unmotivated, confused, lonely, and misunderstood. If you notice that their symptoms of anxiety and depression have worsened, please don't leave their side and let them know that professional help is available. Do you think someone you know may be self-harming? Please share your thoughts with us below. To learn about the signs of a suicidal person, check out our video here. Also, be sure to subscribe to our channel for more helpful tips and share this video with others. It might just save someone from hurting themselves. With your help, we can reach more people and raise awareness on mental health issues. Thanks for watching.